Okay, everybody else is doing it, so I'm doing it too. What is in my purse? Anyways, this is my purse. Uh, my kitchen because my camera died. Um, this is actually a teenager's book bag. When I was looking for my kids a book bag for school this year, I seen it and I thought, that's going to make a cool purse. Of course, I had to put pins and badges and iron-ons. I'm a very proud karate mom. I just done this today. It came in a little kit that my daughter bought. <laughs> and I added these cool little zipper pulls on it. I bought a purse for $2 and took the zipper things off of it. And yeah, okay. My purse is very full. Cool. Being a mom, I have a lot of junk in here. And a lot of things that I probably need to take out. Which is why I'm doing this today because I'm going to clean out my purse. Receipts, of course, for everything under the sun. Believe it or not, I keep a pair of socks in my purse everywhere I go. Because you never know what happens. Never know. These were just 99 cents. But, you know, still yet. I just keep a pair in my purse. So, that's my clean socks. And, as you can see, I have a whole box of band-aids in here. A whole box of Winnie the Pooh band-aids for my kids. And there inside of it is the Neosporin spray, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah. Neosporin, the Neo to go. This stuff is awesome for kids, so. Um, never know when they're going to need an ouchie or when they tend to have an ouchie. Um, this is some leftover tissue from a funeral. Yeah, like I said, the funeral was in June, so it's been a while. My new camera that my husband bought me. I've had it in here for a week. Um, my battery died on the other one and we couldn't find the charger. So he bought me this one so that I can always take pictures of my kids, especially during karate. And they had um, the testing last week, which was awesome. My babies are now purple belts. Okay. And then I got this cute little tissue. I got this from CVS Pharmacy. I've only used it maybe once. And I bought this at the Peace Frog store. Um, I don't think it's Peace Frog brand, but it was in the Peace Frog store. It's not. It's natural love. But I got it in Panama Beach, Florida, so. I've had that for two years. Um... I've got a calendar. The land that I love. I'm in horrible lighting right now because I'm in my kitchen. I had to be close to the plug -in. And, yeah, only a mommy would have fake vampire teeth. And not just one pair, but a half a pack of fake vampire teeth. Okay. And, I'm going to be a pharmacy. That's when I bought the kids and stuff. And this is very important when you're a mommy. I could not tell you how many times my kids have lost buttons. See, there's buttons missing. My kids have lost buttons or they have tore their shirt or whatever. You know, there's so many times that you need a sewing kit just for little things. And I'm kind of handy with repairing. And Sometimes on long boring trips you can just make things randomly out of the sewing kit. Sew a tissue together or something, you know. But anyways. And then I have some mints. Not just any mints. They're Feed the Hungry mints. I got them just to support the cause. I thought it was cool. And this is my keys. Okay. <laughs> This right here is very special to me. It's the first thing that my oldest son ever got me. He gave me this keychain, so it's very special. Mr. Giraffe. And this is my keychain from Southern's Dill Tattoos. My husband picked this R up for me. So my name is Rachel. And then this is when they were yellow bits in karate. And my house key, my dad's house key. 
That's my house key, of course. It's got to be cute. And it says princess because my father is the king of kings and I am a princess. And, um, let's see, that's my husband's truck key. I like you all actually care what these keys go to, but, uh, yeah, this is my key. I've got a Ford Fiesta, 2011 Ford Fiesta. And this is my key fob. There's no key. There's no actual key. It's push button. And if something happens to that thing, I guess I am in trouble or out a whole lot of money, no doubt. Also, there is this little thing. This is just the neatest little thing. It is a hair remover. You never know when you forget to shave your legs like a little tiny spot you missed or something or whenever you need to shave just in between your eyebrows or something you never know you might find a stray hair somewhere that you need to get rid of but anyways it's one of those times um and a hair clip and my battery charger now that I have that new camera. I have to make sure that I have <laughs> batteries charged at all time. And then it seems like anywhere you go, there's a place that you can plug in something. So I might get an adapter for the car too. So in case I go like on vacation and there's not a plug in where I'm at at the time, or you know, you can't go into a store and say, Excuse me, but can I use your electricity for a moment? Well, I'm sure you could. But and this is my cell phone, it's a razor. I know it's old school, but you know what? It serves a purpose, and I'm not a cell phone fanatic, to be honest with you. Um, you have to excuse the noise in the background. That's my daughter. She's being a little bit noisy. Um, one of Allie's hair bows. And then a hairbrush. And it's ouchless. Of course it's ouchless. No ouchies. Um, then I have... Save the Earth Gum. This is another one of the Project 7 Gums. Um, or the Project 7 products, I guess. Because I've got the mints and this. I sent them both at Walmart. Thought, hey, it goes for a good cause, so let's get them. And, and, and. Um, don't ask me why, but another ouchless hairbrush. <laughs> and. Oh, and this, this is where I keep all my mucho dinero. Well, I never have much money, so. It's like, some money. That's, that's um, a few receipts. Um, oh, there's still more stuff. And I've got D.O. for the B.O. You never want to stink. And you know, if you get out and you start running or playing with the kids, you know, you sometimes need the D.O. A little refresher never hurts anybody. And sometimes you feel like saying to strangers, here, take this. I'll buy more. But anyways, and a compact. I'm not big on makeup. Um, every now and then I use it. I don't know how long it's been there. Yeah, it needs to go to the trash. Oh, uh, yeah, another receipt. And more gum. Try it. It's been I love spirit. Um, oh, yeah. I think pin from none other than Southern Steel Tattoos. They're located in Pikeville and Virginia. Oh, this stuff is a must have for anybody who has allergies. Well, I recommend it, but I'm not a doctor, so this stuff works great. You just lay it on your tongue and it dissolves, and it's great. It's wonderful. It works so good for my allergies. And then on the outside of my purse, I have this attached to it, which is a warm vanilla and sugar. Antibacterial hand sanitizer. Yes, and I'm in the kitchen. That's why you see the bunny bread floating over there. Or, well, sitting over there. I don't know why I said floating. Um, and let's see. The outside pocket has something in it, which is unusual for me. Uh, never mind. It's not unusual for me. More bandies. When the kids need them, I got them. I'm prepared. 
But yeah, that's what's inside of this mommy's purse. Nothing else. It's empty. That was a lot of junk. Um, and yeah, this was just a, I think, I'm not sure how much I paid for it, to be quite honest with you. I think I paid like $15 for it at Kmart in the book bag section. Yeah. So, and that is my pile of junk. <laughs> that was my purse. So, this has definitely encouraged me to clean out my purse. I know now that I'm going to take half of this out. I'll keep the bandies, get rid of the teeth. <laughs> and I don't think I need that much gum either. But, um, I hope you enjoyed looking inside of my purse.